So in the news uh, this week, m March of 2024, has been the uh, expose of the culture behind the children's television programming and production at Nickelodeon. And uh, tr treatment and weird behavior by ch children's stars is nothing new. I mean, get so much attention, you're going to get nailed for doing normal stuff, and you're going to get so much money, you can do stuff that's not so normal. These reports from personality personalities, excuse me, April 9th and 10th, 1991, cover the troubles of Eight is Enough's Adam Rich, Different Strokes' doing, dueling duo Dana Plato and uh, Todd Bridges, and uh, Danny Bonaducci and Willie Ames are interviewed. This is a neat little bit of, you know, skizzy, skeezy, sleazy television from 33 years ago. We've gotten so much better now. And you can add former Eight is Enough star Adam Rich to the growing list of child actors in trouble with the law. The 22-year-old was arrested Saturday morning and charged with burglarizing a Los Angeles area pharmacy. The actor who played the youngest of eight kids in the TV comedy has been released on $5,000 bail. And coming up tomorrow, personalities reports on the troubled lives of Adam and other young actors as we take an in-depth look at child stars in trouble. Hollywood's child stars have been running into some trouble lately. Last weekend, Adam Rich joined the crowded field of former young stars who run afoul of the law. And sadly, the actor who found fame on TV's Eight is Enough has lots of company. Can you imagine being Danny Partridge in jail? What a nightmare. I got my butt kicked. The world sucks. <laughs> it really does. You've heard it before. On top at 12, in trouble at 22. Actors like Todd Bridges, Drew Barrymore, and Corey Feldman. They're young celebrities whose stars rose fast and fell hard. Just recently, three Hollywood child actors who've been in trouble before are making headlines again. Two weeks ago, 31-year-old Danny Bonaducci charged with assaulting and robbing a transvestite in Phoenix, Arizona. Last month, 26-year-old Dana Plato of TV's Different Strokes charged with robbing a Las Vegas video store. And just last Saturday, 22-year-old Adam Rich, who played Nicholas on Eight is Enough, was arrested for breaking into a Los Angeles pharmacy. I was told that it was allegedly this, some, some actor from Eight is Enough or whatever, and that he was unhappy about something that took place in the hospital. He had his arm in a sling, etc., and he looked somewhat groggy or drowsy or whatever, and it was, a, a, I believe it was an attempted robbery. I, I don't think anything's been taken as far as narcotics, etc. Rich was released after posting $5,000 bail. But this isn't the first time the actor's been in trouble. Last November, he pleaded guilty to drunken driving charges, and in 1988, he sought help for a cocaine habit. You've got uh, a bunch of kids thinking that they're 10 feet tall and bulletproof. I know I thought I was 10 feet tall and bulletproof. Willie Ames played big brother Tommy Bradford to Adam's character Nicholas on Eight is Enough and blames part of Adam's troubles on his Hollywood childhood. When your whole life becomes wrapped up in being Nicholas Bradford or Tommy Bradford, let's say, or, or uh, Gary Coleman, you know, or Todd Bridges, any of these kids, Everybody comes up to you constantly and they say, what a cute kid you are, what a great actor you are, what a brilliant this you are, what a brilliant that you are. And then as soon as the day the show is canceled, it's gone. I'm sure you can see that my eyes have been kind of beaten. It's just, it's, I can't open this one and this one isn't that clear. Danny Bonaducci, who played Danny Partridge on the 1970s show The Partridge Family, isn't saying much about his alleged assault on a transvestite. But personalities talked to Danny last fall. I've been here a week and haven't screwed it up. Danny had just begun his new job as a DJ in Phoenix, was just out of a drug rehab program, on probation, and looking forward to starting over. I find life hard. The only time I'm confused. While the camera's here, I'm fine. There's no problem. It's when I get out of here. 
I have to drive home and pay my bills on time and cook. That confuses the hell out of me. This is fine. Danny Bonaducci is due back in court tomorrow for a pretrial hearing. Dana Plato was bailed out by singer Wayne Newton. She has a court hearing next month. Adam Rich is free on bail. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button or hit the next video button. Or if you really like what you see, you can do the American thing and send money. There's like information for that stuff in the video descriptions. Just keep watching the videos. That's all I care about. Taped all this junk for some reason. So, again, thank you for all the support making the channel grow. Ain't that America. Rah, rah, rah.